how do you come up with how much my home is worth? I get it all the time. Now, every agent may do things a little bit different. Often when I'm sitting down with the seller, they say, well, Zillow says my home is worth this much, or this online evaluation tool says it's worth that much. I'm not going to get into the ins and outs of Zillow. They use an algorithm. It's not very accurate. They can be right sometimes, but an agent, an experienced agent will actually look at all of the homes in your neighborhood. So they're going to look at the homes within a mile radius or in your subdivision, depending on the amount of sales that are in your neighborhood. They're going to look at active homes, ones that are available to purchase. They're going to look at pending homes, ones that people have agreed to purchase. They're in a contract together. And then they'll look at sold homes. So homes that have sold in the past three to six months. Every market's a little bit different, but they're really, really going to look at quite a bit of data. And where this differs from Zillow and, and Redfin and all these online evaluation tools is they use an algorithm, but they don't have a way to look through the data to see if it, if the house backed up to a really busy street or the inside of the house smelled really bad. It was a bad location, really, really busy. Those things are, are going to affect the sales price drastically. So an agent is going to look at things like that, the location, the condition. They're going to look at, you know, if the house is right across the street from an elementary school, that's going to affect the price. And so there's so many factors that we're looking at, but we're looking at the quality of craftsmanship, the quality of upgrades of maybe your house versus other ones that have sold. Not all upgrades or renovations are created equal. We're also going to look at things like pools, the size of the lot, size of the yard, own solar versus leased solar. There's so many factors, kind of like has an appraiser. Appraiser will look at like 5,000 data points to come up with a price. So that's why you'll have a lot of agents say, oh, your house is worth this. Oh, no, your house is worth this. So you will get uh, different advice from different agents. Now, some agents will just say your house is worth this crazy high amount just so they can get, you know, the listing and sell your house. But you got to look at the agent's track record on how they've sold houses in the past, how many they've sold, how many of a percentage have they sold over the list price, the house that the price that it was listed. You want to see, okay, well, how many houses have you sold over what you listed it for? And that's a good determining factor. Now you have to look at the market as a whole, what's going on. At the time of this video, the market is, is extremely competitive and house prices are uh, steadily rising. But in order to find the right price, it doesn't necessarily mean that you're going to list it at that price. It depends on what's going on in your neighborhood as well. How many houses are for sale, the time of the year. So again, a lot of factors, but if you have a trusted realtor that has experience and a great track record on selling homes, you're going to be able to trust the list price they give you is the right one for you. So Brandon Leon, Better Homes and Gardens. Hope this video is helpful for you. Take care.